Miss Blackwood was definitely well versed in literature herself. As she contained titles of books so rare, I doubt some of them are still in print anymore. A particular book stood out to me, something from a treasured memory I long forgot about now brought to my attention again. Greek Mythos, Volumes 1 through 3, as if an invisible guide was leading me to find this book. Incredible! A strong flash of a memory came before me of when my father would read to me the story of the Minotaur as I fell asleep in his arms. I was six years old and I forgot about it for some time. I was on the verge of breaking down crying when suddenly I heard a deep, quiet growl from above. I looked up and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. A minotaur, hanging from the ceiling. I was horrified at the sight of it. I stood there trying to believe what I was seeing. I hold on to the Greek mythos book and slowly walk myself to the door, out of the library. But before I could grab the knob, the minotaur stood in between me and the door. I had no choice but to find safety from the monster, so I hid behind a bookshelf. My dear, whatever are you doing on the floor? And there she was, Miss Blackwood, a woman who could easily mesmerize anyone with her intense stare and posture. <sighs> I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I just, I, I thought I saw... You thought you saw what exactly? A spider. <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> you must be Miss Blackwood. Charmed, I'm sure. Oleander tells me you have questions. Yes. <clears throat> Oleander told me you knew about my hobby, and I don't believe we've ever met before. Do, do you know my family, or even my father, or mother? Yes. You do? That's great. Then you must know maybe perhaps where he is? No one else in town was told or can tell me where he is even though he's technically owned half this town for years. I just, it's been over a decade since he left me. My dear, he isn't far. I'm sorry, do you know exactly where he is? Why, he's right here, in this very house. Are you serious? Is that why you brought me here? Is he here now? Oh, I'm quite serious. He's in the basement if you'd like to see him. He's taken over the old laboratory. Her vagueness made me instantly distrust her, but hearing that someone had any idea where he could be instead of I don't know was something I had to run with. I was truly naive when I was alive. I'm afraid my duties as hostess have me a bit pulled apart at the seams, but I'm sure Oleander will be happy to escort you, if you so wish. When she told me that he was in the basement, I was both relieved and terrified. Did she kill my father? Did he truly not love me anymore and left me for this woman? Whatever I may have been thinking, she was kind enough to have Oleander escort me to the basement to find him, and I knew I could trust Oleander.